What is the percent composition of each element here in calcium chloride? Well, first step is to find the mass of the entire compound, and let's use this table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I, I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see in the compound. So we see calcium and we see chlorine. Then I'm gonna write down the number of atoms. This is where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of calcium, there is an invisible one, all right? And that means there's one calcium, and chlorine has a subscript of two, and that means there are two chlorine. Next, what we're gonna do is take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of now each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play, so let's take a look. Here's calcium's mass, 40.08. Here's chlorine's mass, 35.45. So let's simply plug that on in. So this is 40.08. This is 35.45. And then to find the total mass now of each element in the compound, we're simply gonna multiply this row on a cross, right? So, so for calcium, the total mass of calcium is 40.08. It works out to be the same as its molar mass or molecular mass, and the other reason why is because there's only one atom. But however, for chlorine, it's gonna be different. The total mass of chlorine here is gonna be 70.90. All right, and that's because there are two chlorine now. So we took the two chlorine and multiplied by its mass. Then to find the total, just simply sum this column together. Look at how nice and easy peasy that is, right? So this works out to be about 110.98. So now that we got that first step out of the way where we have the mass now of calcium chloride here, by the way, it doesn't matter, gram per mole, amu, who cares? It's just the number we need, just the number, all right? Next, what I'm gonna do is create a new column in this table uh, to help again organize the thoughts and it's gonna be easy as pie. Let's take a look, bam. So to now find the mass percent of each particular element in the compound, we're gonna take the, so for calcium here, I'll do it for calcium first, we're gonna take the total mass of calcium, which was 40.08 and we're gonna divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, which was 110.98, and then multiply that by 100. That's a simple percent formula, part over whole times 100, all right? And remember, you are using this column's value, not this one, okay? Turns out to be the same for calcium, but that's only because there was one atom. So when we do that math, we're gonna work out, it's gonna work out to be a percentage of approximately 36, 36.11, all right, 36.11%. So that's the percent for calcium. Now to find the percent for chlorine, you could take 100 and subtract this from it, but why don't we calculate it the, I would say the better way, uh, because what happens if you screw this up? Well, if you screw that up, then this one will be screwed if you obviously subtract it from 100. But this might be a little better. We'll take the 70.90 now, the total for chlorine, and then divide it by then the total mass of 110.98, multiply it by 100, my voice is starting to crack, and... This is gonna be 63.89 now, 63.89%, all right? If you've done this now correctly, they should add up, these percentages should now add up to 100. And I think that's a better way to approach it uh, because like I said, you know, if this was screwed up and you subtracted it from then 100, well, this would have then been screwed up. But you know, we'll try to minimize our probability of error. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I look forward to helping you with more problems. We got thousands of videos out there, different subject as well, not only chemistry. All right, we got physics, we got mathematics, bio's coming out soon. We got a whole bunch of stuff. We'll see you soon. Take care.